Hi guys, how are you and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to block websites from your network. So I will show you one way of doing it. There's more than one way to do it. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do for this is to know the IP address of your uh, router. So to do this you will go in the command prompt by typing cmd so command prompt here you open it and then you will write IP config then you press on enter so here you will see a bunch of stuff the only thing you want uh, to know is the this number here so default gateway you want to know this so uh, it's possible that you have the same uh, default gateway as my default gateway so for me it will be 192.168 dot one dot one so this is the only thing you want to know so after you found your default gateway you will go into a browser me I am using Google Chrome and you will open a new tab and you will type this uh, IP address so you will open a new tab and you will type this IP address dot one dot one you will press on enter and then um for a lot of routers you will have to put a username and a password so if it is the first time you're entering your router it is basically normal that um, you have to type a username and password but uh, the manufacturer they have default username and password for the people that are trying to access the router for the first time so it all depends on the manufacturer and on the router mo model so in my case my router right now is this router the this so basically you have to find your username and password for your router model so in my case I wrote uh, my router model password and as you can see on the Google search um, it gives it right here so it says that my username is blank so basically I don't type anything in username and in passwords I have to type admin uh, and there's a lot of other websites such as this one that's called router passwords that you can select uh, the manufacturer of your router and then you click on find passwords and they will provide um, some models with uh, the username and the password you have to type in in order in order to access your router so me I'm going to use this one blank and admin for password so basically in username I leave it blank and in password I put admin and I click in login so here as you can see uh, here you will be able to change the configuration of your router and everything so in my case for for you it might be different but in my case uh, it looks like this at the beginning so basically here I have IP address range uh, so for me it goes from 192.168.1.100 to 149 so basically each time someone connects to your uh, network they will be uh, assigned a different IP address so basically if I have one computer let's say it will be dot here dot 100 if I have another computer it will be like 101 if I have a smartphone it will be 102 for the smartphone so basically this is how it works and the maximum number of users who, uh, that are going to be able to connect to the network will be 50 so basically you have uh, in my case how I show to block the websites uh, I'm going to show how to block for all the devices on your network so we have to know the IP address range so basically remember this number right now so then after you will go on top and this might be very different for you it depends on which router you have in my case I have Linksys and this is my uh, router in some other routers it will be like parental something but in my case it is in access access restrictions so I'll click here and you'll see this so to block websites here as you can see I have five access blocking policy so I'll create for the first one 
and then uh, enter a name policy you can put a name so I'll just name uh, name it website block one and I'll put the status what did it say black one okay black one um, and I'll put the status to enable so basically everything that I will block here will be enabled and in my case it might differ for you I have this applied PCs so this policy applies only to PCs on the list so basically you have to tell which PCs uh, won't be able to access the websites that we're going to type here so you will click in edit list and previously we saw that we had a range so you have to remember that range and our range was like 192.168.1.100 to 149 that was our range in our case so that's what I'm typing in because I want to block the websites for all the devices that will be connected to my network so that's why I typed the range we saw before here so then we're going to click on save settings and we're going to click on continue so then we're, we're going to close this window and we have this now so website blocking by URL address so the so basically here you, you type the URL address of the websites we want to block so basically um, I'll show something to you uh, I'll go to my website here as you can see it works right now but I'll block that website okay so it's this website I'm just copying it and pasting it here I'm just gonna do this okay so this is the first URL website I'm going to block then you can you can put other uh, URL websites uh, that we want to block so let's say uh, this one oh sorry okay yeah here another one so I'm going to copy this URL website and I'm going to paste it in URL too so basically now I'm going to show you that it really works so after you've typed on uh, the websites you want to block here um, you will just have to click on save settings and let's say you have more than four websites that you want to uh, block so if you have more than four websites you will have to click here in access blocking policy you'll have to put a second access blocking policy and do the same uh, steps we did for the first one and if you have more than eight you go in the third and yeah you continue so let's click on save settings and then on continue so here now if let's say we try to reload this website it shouldn't work because I blocked it as you can see it doesn't work if for this one it shouldn't work I click on enter it still works so basically I have to go here kilobolt.com so let's just type you have to verify save settings for some websites it just doesn't take the tri triple W for other websites it takes it it needs it so you have to verify that it really work uh, it really works and blocks the websites that you've typed here and yeah so basically that's it guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll show you, you another time doesn't work this one doesn't work also but if we try to go in another website like this one it works you see so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care